Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. You know, I I've really have something in my heart that I want to share with you today. And um, it's about uh, perseverance. You know, perseverance is a very overworked term. It's overworked in the field of speech therapy, rehabilitation, but yet, although it's an overworked concept, it is basic to achievement. And I don't care if you're a person with aphasia or if you're a person who's trying to learn how to do math or if you're trying to learn anything, Usually along the way, you're going to have lots of errors. You're going to make mistakes. And you know, isn't it frustrating? Isn't it frustrating when you screw up, when you've been working real hard and you're trying to master something and you keep trying and time after time after time, you just don't get it right? Well, that's just what happens in learning. And you know, sometimes we forget that. We really do forget that. And, you know, you look at famous baseball players or musicians or musical groups, and you find out that, that for years and years and years and years and years, they kicked around trying to do something, and they never quite were successful. Same thing goes with speech therapy. A lot of times it may be the speech therapist. Sometimes it might be the method that's used. Sometimes it could be, well, maybe you're just not ready. But persistence is so critical to achievement. And what persistence to me really is, is when you reach a point when you just are thinking, it's time for me to give up. It's time for me to let go of this. It's, it's like when you're seeing in your mind's eye that you just want to walk away from it and you just don't want to do it anymore. Well, that's, that's when you got to have persistence. Now, you can walk away, and that's your choice, or you can decide to stay at it, keep at it. And if you're not making the kind of success that you want, sometimes you have to get another opinion. Sometimes you have to speak to somebody else. Maybe you need to find another therapist. Who knows? But there usually is an answer. And if you keep searching for that answer, and you keep trying, and you keep persisting, well, by golly, with time, you're going to achieve. It happens a good majority of the time. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, sharing with you today a little bit about the concept of persistence. Thank you very much. Be on the lookout for more videos. Bye-bye now.